Hi, welcome back to another video. Today I am outside and I'm just gonna quick film a quick garden tour. Um, I'm gonna bring you guys right over here and show you my green stalks really fast. And then we'll go out to the big garden and show you what has been happening out there. Okay, so here is the black green stock. It has really, really filled out. It's really beautiful. It's been pretty hot lately, so things are starting to yellow. Um, I kind of die off on this thing, but as you can see, we're getting some banana peppers. I've gotten lots of harvests of beans off of this. The nasturtium was really full and beautiful, and now it's starting to die, and we're starting to get some like seed pods. Um, we got some green beans. Again, I've done a lot of harvests on those. We got some marigolds down here. Another dragon tongue. Man, I could do another harvest on this. Um, this tomato plant, you can see, it starts all the way down there and grows through the beans and up there. But we don't have too many tomatoes on this one yet. Just some. Um, one little one there and then there's a the little, little guy here so yep that's the black green stock i do have some pepperoncini peppers right here all of my cilantro has gone to seed kind of just letting it do its thing um yeah just recently picked some basil off of this we've gotten Lots of green beans off of this, and then I'm getting some, these are the Fresno chili peppers, I believe. Yeah. So those have been really fun. If you're interested, I will link the video on what I did to re revitalize my soil on these. Okay, so we have some, um, I went to the garden store when a lot of things weren't working out in the other garden, or I lost a bunch of stuff to the gophers. So I went to the garden store and I got some yellow crook neck squash. Those are what those threes are. I just randomly put some bush beans in there and then those are um, shishito peppers. And then I have a flower, I'm forgetting the name at the moment. And then these are the um, early white bush winter squash. Um, we have Gosh, I'm forgetting what peppers those are. I don't know what pepper those are, but that one over there is, um, that corner one is a, I'm forgetting, Serrano. Just randomly put beans in here when spaces became available. I have an acorn squash. I put some sunflowers on the end, just kind of popping seed in where I can. Okay, and then these... I don't remember any of the varieties I put in here because this was like my attempt to just put plants anywhere because I didn't have space and I was like tucking them in. I did have carrots in here that I harvested. I got a small harvest. These are Tabasco peppers and then some strawberries. I am noticing on these tomatoes, I am getting some blossom end rot, which is usually a calcium deficiency. So I got to figure that out, but we got quite a bit of tomatoes in here. They're all kind of small, but they're doing pretty good. Look at this fun banana pepper that's growing on the green stalk. It's kind of, plant is kind of bent in here. Okay, so as you can see, I have no tomatoes here. Pretty much anything that's been in ground has gotten taken by gophers. So once I started noticing these tomato plants, going down from gophers eating them we quickly built two more garden beds and I have been transplanting things so now I'm gonna be picking up all this dirt and putting it in raised beds um, you can still see we've gotten some sunflowers down the row it doesn't feel like they've grown a ton but some of them are still here like we're missing two in there missing two right there so it's just it it discovered the tomatoes and liked those better so we do have a tomato still standing here that I put in the ground 
And then these sunflowers are still doing good. I had two tomato plants on the end. Those got eaten. This guy is getting eaten, I think. Yeah, this guy, so I just didn't have it. Yep, look at that. Got chewed. Something chewed it. So yeah. So in my attempt to save the tomato plants, my husband quickly built me these two beds. We have this hard wire cloth mesh underneath it. It's like the half inch or quarter inch or something. And these plants, I don't know if they're just in shock from what the transplant, cause it was a pretty hot day when I was transplanting them, but they just don't feel like they're growing. But I'm, I mean, it's been about two weeks. Some of them have put on, look a little bit more green and some of them just look pretty bad over there. But um, I have, I know they're probably overcrowded, but if they're stunted in some way, then they're probably not going to grow very much. So I don't know what I did wrong on there, but it's definitely funny how you plan for a garden season to go a certain way and it goes completely the opposite way. We're still getting stuff, which I'm really thankful for, but it's just been felt has kind of felt like a juggling act, like moving everything around. So we built these beds and then from the front garlic bed that the garlic was in from last season, I took the dirt out of there, put it in one of these beds and then a gopher had gotten into one of the metal beds. We took that dirt, put it into the other bed. So it's just been like shifting everything and getting stuff replanted to where it's safe and to where the gophers can't get into it. So, so these, I lost a lot of the tags. We have like a jarred dill squash and a delicata. I don't know what that guy or this guy is, but these, I, these were on like the tomato mounds over there, the hills bef before I transplanted. They were extremely yellow and I decided just to transplant them and they've put on a lot of green growth since. So that's been really exciting. Kind of the same thing over here. We get pretty strong winds out here. So I was trying to, this is my attempt to try to make them not move, but I don't know if it's working very well. And then more pumpkins and squashes. And then I planted two cu three cucumbers on the end, but that one hasn't come up. Here are the potatoes that are almost ready. I've harvested two buckets just in a pinch for dinner, but I think these are starting to kind of die back and they're almost looking ready. We have some peppers and hibiscus and a um, okra. And then I don't know what kind of pumpkin this is. Oh, this is a butternut squash plant. So those are looking okay. Not, not, everything just seems like it has a yellow hue to it. I don't know if the camera is showing that. So just trying to figure out if I'm watering too much, watering too little, nutrients, deficiencies, and all that fun stuff. This bed was another bed that a gopher got into. So we took all the dirt out, really secured it up with hard wire cloth. And I just transplanted these this morning, actually. The stuff that's in here, I plan to do just like watermelons and pumpkins along the side from seed, just to see if I can get stuff to grow off the edges. This bed's doing pretty good. We got some fun bell peppers coming in. I got a tomato plant. Uh, my kale's looking pretty good. And then more tomato plants that I just squished in here that I was trying to save. Um, and again, they all look very stunted. So I don't know. Something along the lines went wrong because I'm not getting a ton of growth from the ones that were on the trellises. So this is a, I don't know what kind of thing this is. I think it's a cinnamon girl pumpkin, but I'm not positive on that, but that one's actually doing pretty good in the ground there, but we'll see how, how far it goes. This bed, I transplanted all of the peppers that are over there out of it because nothing was growing in this bed. I mean, this tomato seems to be doing fine, but I'm thinking that's because it's right next to this compost bin that I was doing. But this is, I plant, I stuck some beans in here and this is what they're looking like. 
So if anything, anyone can tell me what's going on. We've gotten like just nothing. I planted these probably a month ago, right after the um, last garden tour, I planted them and this is how much they've grown. They came up right away and then just did nothing. And like, look at this, this is crazy. Like getting watered, maybe too much water. That might be an issue, but we've been extremely hot here. So I don't know. Just feels like a, like a nitrogen deficiency almost or something. So something with the soil is going on. Something, I don't know. You can chime in and tell me what you think. Here is the corn and spaghetti squash and we have green beans on the trellis back there. And it's doing pretty good. Um, I'm starting to get tassels. I've actually never, never grown corn before. And I don't see any ears on the corn, so I, I don't know what at point at what point they show up, but I'm just kind of going with it. I will say they're kind of like everything has just a yellow hue to it, and so it just it doesn't feel like things are as nutritious as they could be. But we got the other variety of corn coming up. I have um, black beauty tomato plants right here on the end that seem again stunted and then we do have quite a bit of um these are angel hair i believe and then these are the regular spaghetti squashes and then over here on the trellis i got these are the kentucky kentucky pole beans and just look how spiraled up they have gone around the trellis it's so cool so but we have been harvesting which has been fun green beans have actually been probably my most harvested thing so far so we're getting some fun probably should come out here and do another harvest okay these small four by four bed and this bed over here are definitely the happiest here are my red noodle beans growing up the trellis so that's really fun. We got some, some showing up finally. And then I got some tomatoes that are wild here, um, but they look pretty happy. And then we have a, uh, this is a pumpkin here with, got some little pumpkins showing up. And then I do have some natapinos tucked over here, which they seem really happy in this corner. Just kind of getting shaded out by the tomatoes, but still getting some sun and so yeah, they're doing fun, good, doing good. Okay, over here we have our Armenian cucumbers and this is, this is those like mouse melons, um, which seems like they just have taken forever to get it going. Got my beautiful, um, forgetting the name for some reason. Um, these are the habanada plants, which still seem very small to me, just taking a long time. And then we have a beautiful zinnia. I believe it's a zinnia. And then another little cucumber right there. And all the tomatoes are falling over. Um, so all of my tomatoes, because of the wind, it blows this way. All my tomatoes are like falling into the zucchini plants. So I got to get out here and kind of stake them up. And so, yeah, that is the garden in very quick review. And then this bed is empty at the moment. I just got this hard wire cloth down today and now I can start filling it. Um, just make sure everything was really secure and now I can start filling and planting in this bed. I do have some watermelons and then cucumbers over there. I don't really expect these to go very far because of the gophers, but so far they haven't gotten to this. And then over here, which I forgot to show you this, I do have some a little cucumber plant growing on this corner here. And I did over here. Look at that little cucumber so that is the garden in really quick review 
just thought I would get out here really fast and show you guys because I just had a tiny bit of time. Um, just feels like a juggling act this year. Just moving one thing around. It's been a ton of work doing what I can when I can. So, um, yeah. How's your guys' garden going this year? And are you having gopher problems? Because I am. So, Everything that was an in-ground bed out here is eventually going to be a raised garden bed because I'm not just not willing to deal with it anymore. So, but we have been harvesting some things. I did my first harvest of peppers the other day. I've gotten lots of zucchinis, um, lots of green beans, and I'm sure the tomatoes are gonna be ripe here soon. So definitely not as many tomato plants that I started with because a lot got eaten and I don't think those ones over there are going to do very much because they do look stunted in some way so not sure what I did wrong there but you know what it's okay it will all work out in the end so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this really fast video and let me know if you guys have any tips on anything that you saw out here and I will catch you guys on the next one bye